loves what's up and welcome back to the trend diaries i'm nadhi and i'm back with yet another hot topic so if you love affordable makeup like me you would love this video so in today's video i'll be sharing with you all my top favorite five foundations under rupees 300 which is like a super affordable budget and these are some really good finds that i've collected over time and you would definitely enjoy them without wasting your money so if you want to know what are my favorite foundations then please continue watching we will start with the lowest price one first and then we will move up to the mark of 300 the first one which is like supremely affordable like ultra 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 affordable is this this is their insight um ultra thin second skin long wear foundation and this one retails for just 175 rupees while i got mine for 160 rupees of amazon it was on a discounted price so they do have i think four to six shades in the range i would list it on the screen talking about the shade this one does have a slight bit of pink undertone to it um which i'm not a huge fan of because i am more on the warmer side but um still it does kind of match me and it does have a lot of um rose water like um scent also talking about how it is like the pros now it's very lightweight very thin in consistency just like the next total control drop foundation if you've used it but uh, talking about the coverage it's like low to medium kind of coverage is what i would rate it it's very lightweight on the skin it feels like you know almost um not there kind of finish and if you like that kind of very thin veil or foundation um, on your skin, you would like this one. I particularly didn't find it very great on um, coverage, but overall, if you want to just use it in the summertime, just for a very light um, wash of um, tint like on your skin, you can use this. Also, this one does have SPF 15 as I've claimed here and it's very smooth. It's easy to blend and everything good. Only that it is low on coverage. Foundation number two is this. This is the Insight Stay Matte Liquid Foundation. Now, this particular one retails for 210 rupees and that is how the outer box packaging looks like. Again, I think I've seen this kind of packaging in some of the foundation. I don't really remember it as of now but um, it's very simple packaging I have no complaints about it so talking about the foundation in itself um, this one has a slight amount of scent it's like very very light amount of rose like scent it's not as high as the ultra thin foundation but um, I really like how the coverage was on this one like I was blown especially the shade you can see it's like completely you know just meshed into my skin tone this shade is so so good um i got mine in the shade soft tan 06 and again this one has a very good shade range plus the undertone is super good it's oil free and um it has like a matte finish it does have a very thick uh, consistency but also it's very easy to blend i don't know how they got it but it does not feel like very heavy or you know cakey on the skin and i think with this just one layer is enough you're good to go you need not layer it much and as i mentioned it does give a very soft matte kind of finish which i absolutely loved and i would highly recommend you all to try this foundation moving on to foundation number three which is again from the house of inside cosmetics and this one retails for 220 rupees it's their hd high coverage foundation and oh my god i was blown i'm having that foundation right now on my face and dude this is just insane for the price i was absolutely shook let me tell you that now this one has a very good um coverage the shade range is quite good the you know tone undertone of the foundation is really beautiful and they have also bifurcated it very well so that you can find your shade online i have the shade mn20 but i feel mny20 would be a great match but sadly it was out of stock so i grabbed this one and so they do have a good uh, bifurcation in their shade range like l stands for light m stands for medium and uh, d stands for deep so uh, n is neutral so y is yellow so i wanted like the yellow undertone foundation but this one would work too so talking about how this is in coverage wise and the consistency so the texture is very thick if you apply it you would feel like oh my god that's way too thick but it's super easy to blend it just 
blends easily it does not feel very cakey or streaky on the skin it does give that a uh, dewy kind of finish it is not very very matte so this um, stay matte one does have this matte kind of finish while this one does have a slightly dewy it's not very very dewy let me tell you that it's slightly dewy but uh, it just feels more like a natural coverage i would not call it very dewy kind of coverage but the finish is super beautiful on the skin it does not feel heavy cakey plus it is an hd foundation it photographs very well it does not give a flashback and it is fragrance free like i was blown that they are coming up with makeup that's fragrance free i'm super happy so yes it does not smell like anything also the coverage is medium to high it's definitely buildable one layer is enough according to me you need not need much again with this one because then uh, it would look cakey like you can see right now on my skin i have like one layer of this foundation and a tad bit more and that was enough it's like almost given me that smooth kind of a uh, finish and covered up everything so i really like the coverage on this one super bomb product you should definitely get it next up let's talk about the og the maybelline fit me foundation and now i love this foundation i think this was the first ever foundation that i owned and first ever foundation that i owned in so many different shades because getting the perfect one for you in fit me is kind of tricky i was the shade i think um 322 uh in the fit me and that was like my super perfect match but they discontinued it i don't know why but now i have two shades with me this one is 238 rich tan and this is 332 golden caramel so they have two sizes one is this glass bottle and they also have a tube packaging so the glass bottle retails for mrp 549 but i've seen it like on um a discounted price always right now it is on 461 rupees something and the tube packaging retails for mrp 299 which is again under our budget and on discount i've seen it around 230 239 something so it does definitely fall in the budget category talking about the shade um the shade 238 uh is this uh, which i've swatched right here so initially when i apply it on my skin you can see in the demo it does look as if it's light but it does oxidize a lot you can see over here the shade has turned almost to my skin tone but the shade uh, 332 when i apply it initially looks like the best match of my skin but you can see over here it has oxidized so much and it's completely like a contour shade on my skin tone so that is the reason why the shade 332 is not a my perfect match because initially it looks good but then it oxidizes to two to three shades deeper so then it does not match my skin tone and so what i like to do is i just mix both of the foundation shades in one is to one ratio or i can even carry the shade 238 and talking about the finish it does have a very natural finish it is not very matte neither it is very dewy it does slightly cling on to the dry patches so i would um, suggest to moisturize really well under this foundation coverage is a medium a buildable coverage and it is very lightweight on the skin plus it does last for a good amount of time so i still love this foundation and um, yeah that's all about this one And lastly I have the Miss Claire Everyday Foundation. I got mine the shade um 05 beige. This one I got for lesser than 300 rupees but the MRP is 325 and it also comes in 16 shades if I'm not wrong. I was blown plus all of the shades are catering to Indian skin tones like that is what I want. I don't want more like pink 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 kind of undertones. I want more warm yellow even a fair yellow kind of tones or neutral tones because that is how the indian skin tone is divided but i'm really happy with the shade range in this foundation talking about the shade this is how it looks like it does look quite yellow on initial application but does you know just mesh into my skin tone and doesn't even look like i have anything on my face it's super weightless let me tell you that and um it is actually how they've claimed it and they have appropriately added the claims on the foundation it is super weightless on the skin you do not feel as if you have anything it's just a very lightweight or like weightless uh, kind of layer on your skin 
plus the finish is very natural it does have that slightest bit of dewiness it's not very matte not very dewy just the natural kind of finish that does not look made up and it's just perfect for everyday wear so whoever has named this foundation has named it like 100 on 100 because this is just the perfect one to wear like on an everyday basis plus this does not even cling on to the dry patches and also one thing that i am a dry skin type person but i do moisturize very heavily so i did not face the clinging issue with this foundation but if you are a dry skin type and if you do not moisturize well this might kind of cling so i would highly recommend moisturizing again with any foundation and because you just powder it down later on etc etc so it's better to add a good layer of moisturizer as it's even a barrier between the skin and the makeup you're applying and um, anyways this one is just a beautiful formula to own the shade 05 beige is a very beautiful match even 06 can work for uh, people around nc42 so i am right now nc40 in mac studio fix a fluid for reference and this is just a beautiful foundation i would highly recommend you all to try it yes those were my top five foundations under rupees 300 i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found out my video helpful if you did then do smash that like button and do subscribe to join the trend fam for more such videos you can definitely visit the playlist section on my channel and yes you can find all of these product links mentioned in the description box you can find these at great prices on amazon so don't miss out on that and add them to your cart right now so yes with that being said i wrap up for today's video let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i shall meet you all soon in my next one till then take care namaste and keep trending